If you don't go for it, now look me in the eyes, man. If you don't go for it, you're a sellout. Seriously, you're a sellout. Who are you selling out? You're selling out yourself. You are giving up on yourself. You're giving up on what you were given, creativity and so forth. If you don't go for your dream, if you don't go for your aspiration, if you're not going and continuing with a fire in your soul, you're a zombie, dude. You're like 99% of the population that walks around dreamless, clocks in, clocks in out at the job, has zero ambition, zero goals. You're not driven. You must go ahead and go for it. I don't care what the heck it is, man. Go for whatever you want to go for, okay? You have that little voice, that little intuition voice up here, the voice of truth telling you, hey, man. Window of opportunity is closing. You're getting older and older every single day. And guess what? I hate to break it to you. You're already dead. It's just on the future timeline, right? Time is just there and it's going to happen. Time is the most valuable currency. Every moment that you're not going for it, someone else is going for it or you're missing out. Because guess what? When you're on your deathbed, I guarantee you're not going to care about, well, I lived a safe and, you know, the nice and close little life. I made my little money and so forth. And uh, yeah, I had a nice little life, but I didn't go for my dream. No, forget that, man. When you get to that age, who cares? So for example, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm in a job that doesn't like me to post on social media. I'm just gonna be honest. For some reason, whatever it is, they don't like you to have a social media presence. Now here's the deal. I am going to go ahead and go for it, man. For the longest time, I've had all these great thoughts and all these things I wanna go ahead and share. But I've been like, dude, I can't post that much. Oh, I probably shouldn't post that or whatever it may be. But now I'm at the point, I'm 26, dude. I'm like, no, forget that. I'm going to go for it, and if I don't make it, then so be it. I'm going for it, and when I'm going for it, I'm going to have some fun. You know why? Because I'm a person, as long as I got a fire, and I feel something, and I've got something that I'm working towards, I'm a happy and content man. I'm a content man if I'm in the pursuit of something. If I'm not in the pursuit of something, and I'm stagnant, that stagnation, that feeling of like, oh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and settle, wake up the next day, clock in, clock out, or I'm just going to go to the gym, and I'm just not going to go for something. No, I got to have a goal. There must always be a goal. So with that said, go for it. I do not care what it is, but you must go for it. If you do not go for it, you will look back and regret it. And the best life that you could possibly live is the one where you live without regrets. So I'm going to go for it, dude. I'm coming out hardcore with all this content, man. I'm going for it. You guys are seeing the more of who I am at the core. Who is really EAS? Who is Ever Ascending Syndrome? Ever Ascending Syndrome is this person, I'll get more into my personal history in here in a little bit, but you know, there's a, there's all these things I want to go ahead and share with you. And it's all about leveling up, dude. How does the person come up with the name Ever Ascending Syndrome? It's an ideology. It's just not who I, it's who I am. It's who I embody. I create my own superhero, my own character. I work on my own character every single day. I'm leveling up. There's so many things, man. You got to understand this body simply has highly complex machine. Oh my goodness. How dare I say that, right? <laughs> how dare I say that? You know, we are made from something. Yeah. A creator made us. How dare I say that? It's funny because if you go look and trace back at every single thing else in the world, all the machinery and so forth, guess what? It's made by us. <laughs> How dare I say there's a greater force that creates something? Oh, am I creating controversy? Good. Good. I'm sure I'll have some people go ahead and say, Oh, God's not real and so forth in the comments. But anyways, continuing on, we're going on a side tangent here. I want to keep this video too long. Dude, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. And Go for it. You're going to go ahead and miss the window of opportunity. I remember when I was age 20. I was age 20. I was over in, um, I'm not going to say where. Um, I was up in this northern state. And uh, anyways, I remember I was watching on YouTube, Eric Bugenhagen. Seriously, I started to watch him when he had 40 subs. Kid you not. Kid you not. This is like 2015 air, man. Um, so I started to watch him. And I remember telling one of my roommates at the time, I was like, dude, this guy's going to blow up. What do you know? He did. You know why? Because I recognize that he had a whole bunch of what? Energy and energy is what people thrive off. Seriously. If you got vitality and energy, you are going to go ahead and do what? Captivate people. And that's what he had. And was it a surprise that he blew up? No, absolutely not. You know why? I remember watching him saying <laughs> the same exact thing that I'm saying right now, man. I remember him going, dude, I'm age 26. The window of opportunity is closing. Well, I'm going to go for it now. Seriously, I'm going to go for it. So for all of you guys out there wargaming your head going, well, if this happens, if this happens, if this happens, no, dude, forget all that. Destroy the voice of doubt in your head. Destroy that voice, the enemy within you who keeps telling you you're no good. You know who that is, right? The Satan, that's the devil, man. You can't be listening to that guy. You got to be listening to the voice of truth, okay? 
Now here's the deal, go for it. And how many times have I said go for it in this video? Probably like 20 times, so peace bros.